right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hell Week. <laughs> now you're probably wondering why Hell Week? Why, why are you calling it Hell Week? We're gonna we're gonna get right into that, okay? So let's just get on out of here and get started with this beautiful Hell Week. I wanna take you away. Okay, good song. Good song. All right. I'm actually just realizing this is probably the first time I've ever worn a hat during my car ride video. Pretty cool, you know? Uh, actually, I don't know. It serves no significance. But uh, as I was saying before, hell week. Welcome to it. It's going to be fun. All right. I'm going to give you guys a rundown of uh, what the plan for the next nine weeks is. I did the exact math. It is nine weeks. Okay. And there's a car right on my ass. Okay. Not going to lie. They had the opportunity to pull out in front of me about 20 times before I got up to them. And then they, for some reason, waited for me to go by. Now they're right on me. I'm thinking a brake check would be the best, best idea right now, you know? By the way, we are speeding, okay? And if you're a cop watching this, we're not speeding. But uh, we're only like, we're only like eight over or whatever, you know? I never go any more than nine over. Nine over is like my limit. Should I flip her off? Give her the old... <clears throat> Bitch. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why she had to ride so close. All right, again, as we were saying, nine weeks of training. The first week is called Hell Week because it's just gonna suck, you know? And then we're just gonna follow that training plan for the next nine weeks all the way up till nationals. In nine weeks is nationals. I have perfectly critiqued this plan to uh, put me at my best shape I can possibly be in for the competition in nine weeks, okay? Maybe some things will interfere and get in the way, that's okay. But uh, if nothing does, we got some in insane training that'll be going on for nine weeks here. We're gonna tell you guys uh, the gist of the plan so you're able to hold me accountable. That's what these, one of these reasons for these videos are, is for accountability, okay? It puts some stress on me, you know, when I present to you guys routines, and I always, you know, I always show you guys me presenting, so you know that I'm about to do a routine. So then it kind of, you know, puts that a little bit of stress on me, making it feel a little bit like, like competition. Gets me ready for the comp. And uh, yeah, I got lots, lots of planning done for, uh, for rings, okay? We got routines, okay? So I do routines Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I got my double trainings. Those four days will be like the most intense days as usual, you know? Not, nothing's changing like too drastically, but uh, I created this thing called the super routine for rings, okay? So uh, I pretty much do my whole routine without the dismount and everything where I hold an L sit, hold a planche, hold a cross, hold a handstand, all those holds have to be done for like max hold, like minimum, you know, 10 seconds for the handstand and the L sit. And then like, as long as I can hold a planche, you know, just fling. so I feel like I'm up there forever. So then when it comes time to do the routine, all I have to do is hold it for two seconds. It won't be uh, too much of a challenge. Another vehicle on my ass. What is with everyone today? Like, if you got somewhere you need to be, show up on time, leave early, okay? Don't drive right up against someone's ass. It, you gain nothing from it. Every time someone does it, I always say it in the vlog, you're you're gonna get there, what, half a, se half a second quicker because you were two feet up on someone's ass driving. That's so stupid. I get no logical sense to me. If someone's driving 20 and a 60, sure, it's gonna upset me, but I'm still gonna stay like four car lengths away. There's no point in me going really close to them. I gain nothing out of it. Because if they have to break for a dick out of nowhere for some reason right on the spot, boom, there's an accident. And who's at fault? The jackass behind me. But if I'm the jackass behind, then it's fucking my fault. So stay four car lengths away no matter the speed. Let's try on a highway and maybe go a little farther. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun, nice little hell week here. The goal is to try and do rings, the super routines, almost every morning training, you know, two to three sets of them every morning training. I have a written down amount of like exactly what days I do a ring routine, the super routine, this, that. And then it'll be like one routine on P-bars today, two the next day, one the next day, two the next day for P-bars and high bar, you know, because P-bars and high bar are pretty set. Palmo, it's literally just two routines every day, except for Wednesday and Saturday. What else we got? So that was high bar, that was P-bars, that was Palmo, rings, we got the super routines plus the ring routine, the regular routine. We'll alternate each day between those. Floor goes like routine. Next day, half routines, day off routine, half routines, boom. Vault, got vault every morning, morning training, every morning training. So that's four vaults sessions a week. Every vault session is the same. I either do two double twists and one two and a half or one double twist and two two and a halves. 
depending on how they, they feel. But like, that's just the minimum. Okay, so if I want to do like five double twists that day, like 10 two and a halfs, I can do that. But the minimum is like one of one and two of the other, okay? Even if it's like a shitty day. So, you know, I kind of put everything into place in the way where I can do all of it. Every single day, if I'm feeling shitty or not, I can always do all of it and then more if need be. But yeah, okay, there's the rundown for you guys. Now I have some accountability thrown on my shoulders. So Hell Week begins. Let's go in the gym here. Same handstand conditioning, same landing, same vault, okay? Everything's pretty much the same. All I'm really doing is adding morning training ring strength in for like two or three of the morning trainings of the week. That's about it. Nothing, nothing too drastic, just more strict on what I used to do. No bitching out. 60 days, nine weeks. Let's fucking get after it, okay? Let's get to work, shall we? It's on? Yep. All right. Handstand conditioning. Nice. All right. Pirouettes. Now a one bar so and stands. Oh, those pirouettes were uh, three my good way and three my bad way. By the way. Nah, oh, fuck. Japanese handstand. It's okay. I'll do vault later. All right, I just found out I'm gonna do vault later. I'm gonna do rings first, because uh, the girls are here today because they have no school this week, so they're here early in the morning. So we're gonna finish up the presses, the squat jumps, sit-ups, whatever, you know, I normally do. And then we'll do rings, and then we'll do vault. I have a mic, because I'm about to do presses. Oh, I'm so far from the count, because it's scary being really close to it. All right, five presses, three have to be held. Nope. Two ish. I don't know if I'm going to count that. <laughs> Fucking damn it. That's four total. This one's held good, and we're done. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. After the sit ups. Are you guys just gonna take your sweet time now on vaults or what? Yeah, I don't like vaults either. Running full speed at a stationary table. Not very, not very fun, no. Okay, squat jumps on this vault side because they're on vault.
Burn. Yeah. All right, time for the super routines. So like pretty much two routines in the same turn. Holding everything extra long, no dismount. Two, I think it, I'm gonna have to check my phone. I've written down how many sets I have to do every day. But I think it's just two sets today, maybe three, we'll see. Yeah. Good morning. Let's get going. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to warm up. Since it is Monday, and we're getting back in the rings aggressively here, we're gonna start slow. So yeah, I don't know how many sets we'll do today. The goal for rings this week, the whole week, is by the end of the week, we're able to do these sets consistently for the next eight weeks after. But this first week is to just like, let the shoulders understand what's going on. And now we're gonna be doing this every single day. So yeah, let's do a few more warm-ups. so much. All right, we're gonna call that a set. Okay, it's gonna take my while, my while, my body a while to get used to doing this in the morning. It's like 10 a.m. now. Yeah, 10 a.m. So that wasn't that wasn't very good. It's good, good starting point, good reference point of where we are starting from. But that was bad. It's nowhere near what I was going for. Now, if I did this in the afternoon, it would be a bit better. Still hurts. It would be a bit better done in the afternoon. It would be even better if it was done after vault. So don't get used to me doing it before vault. The plan was to go vault and then rings. So then vault warms me up a little bit, I guess. But instead we're doing rings first, which sucks. But yeah, I wanna go planche, l sit, cross, giant, and then back right straddle L, planche, giant, and hold everything like max hold. So that is what my routine is. The point is just to have it like so easy that I'm able to hold everything relaxed almost, you know? So hopefully in the next nine weeks it becomes simple like that. But there's our reference point, nine weeks, I'm gonna post that video again showing where I'm at and the reference point, okay? But yeah, oh shit. We're gonna do like one or two more sets. Fuck, it hurts. By the end of the week, I know my shoulders will be more used to it and I'll be okay with doing it, but right now it's just like, ah, weak and painful. Okay, second set. I'm barely even holding the shit for like three seconds. You know, better to recognize failure and fix it instead of avoiding it and pretending that nothing's wrong. Because I knew rings was an issue and then I went in and competed it. Clearly didn't have the endurance for the dismount. Pung! I'm thinking no matter how prepared this routine was, I still would have pung on that dismount because uh, those rings were fucking hella slippery at the Grizzly competition. But uh, still, the routine wasn't fully prepared. One for it anyways. Simple routine. Should have been easy but I didn't do it very well, so uh, that was embarrassing. We're recognizing the embarrassment, and we're trying to trying to fix it now. This is also embarrassing. This sucks. We're gonna we're gonna fix it though. Let's do uh, let's do just another set of strength on the other rings. No bag or planche or anything, and then we'll go to volatile. Okay? All right, one set of planche jumps, L sit hold, and stand hold. Okay, let's go over here. 
That was fun. That was fun stuff. Let's go to vault now. All right, time for vault. Quick vault session, quick landings, then we're done morning training. Handsprings, some fulls, and at least one double twist, and at least one two and a half. All right, handspring number one. Who's good if I lean in and the sky's line? All right, handspring number two. Oh, we might. My, oh, so my ankles still hurt from that dying on the rings thing. Plus my knees are still hurting. So uh, we're gonna keep doing vault. Vault's not like too bad. I'm just worried about floor. It might hurt a lot on floor. So maybe just basics on floor this whole week. We're gonna try my best to do what I have on the plan. But yeah, just keep doing vault. Hopefully the pain isn't too intense for uh, floor in the afternoon. Yeah, let's do full twist now. Full twist number one. Oh yeah, that was the first full, first full in over a week, so not too bad. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go for double twist now, okay? Double twist, number one. All right, never mind. Watch your back. wasn't wasn't Still wasn't great, but like it wasn't too too bad. Felt worse than it looked, which is a good thing because my vaults, like a year ago, they used to feel better than they looked, and I would watch them and they looked like shit. Now I'm watching back and they look better. And they feel so that's okay. But yeah, it was still everything was a bit like slow. The heel drive, rotation, twist. It was all just a bit slow. I feel like that's how it always is. Monday, first training of the week, first event. I guess technically second event, but still, first training of the week. It's always it's always slow. All right, so we're gonna do another double twist. Maybe we'll save the two and a half to do two of them tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how this double twist goes though, and then we'll decide. All right, double twist number two. <laughs> Doesn't even matter if it looks good, felt bad. Especially if I'm landing like that, I will die in a competition. Yeah, I watched it back. That was really bad, actually. It was kind of like going good, and then it just died. Don't, not too sure why. I'll have to rewatch it when I get home tonight. But it wasn't, wasn't good. It wasn't that, it wasn't that good. The one before that was better, and the one before that wasn't even that good. So we're gonna do a, just one more double twist and be done. Because if I go for a two and a half, I'll still be twisting as I land, and then I'll get hurt. So we're not gonna do that today. I don't wanna get hurt. One more double twist, and then landings. Double twist number three. Yeah, watch your back. It was actually not real. It was good. It was way better than the other ones. I all I focused on really that time was to go straight. I always kind of focus on like rotation, heel drive, and speed, which kind of pulls me sideways. That time I kind of just focused on making it straight, which gave me more power. I had a feeling it was gonna give me more power, and it did. So yeah, that'll be a tip maybe I'll use for myself on days where it's not going as well, is to focus on just going straight. But that's it for vault. We're not gonna do two and a half. We did three doubles. Pretty good. We have to do at least two, two and a half tomorrow. Or three on Thursday or four two and a half on Friday. I just have to do four two and a half total by the end of the week. Or more. But uh, yeah. Done vault. Let's go do some landings now. Alright. One stay with everything and then we're done. Another one. Huh. Yeah, that right there. That might be the decider of a very simple floor session today. Because all I did was land slightly hard and upright. I wasn't even under rotated, I was upright. Oh, I hurt my ankle. It felt like rocket went off just right here, right in the front, which is sweet. Because it still, it still hurts a bit from my whole incident. But, all right, enough, enough bitching. Let's finish.
Oh yeah, that was fun. I don't know why the fuck landings are being so difficult lately. Yeah, we're done. Okay, see you. See you in the first training. It was great. It was great. We had lots of fun. Lots of fun. Fuck that. Okay. See you guys in second training. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to second training. Welcome to the gym. Okay. So uh, I bought this new gimbal thing, which stabilizes the camera, and makes the video really cool. So today. I'm gonna try and do some videos, some cool videos with it for Instagram, so it's gonna be turned the 916 angle again. But uh, yeah, hopefully floor goes good, so then I can uh, record some stuff with it, cause that would look cool. But yeah, uh, I'll let you guys know when I end up doing that, but we're gonna get started on floor here. All right, let's get started. Focus, focus, this hurts. So I'm uh, not sure how much I'm gonna do. Landing, landing hurts a lot. Punching doesn't hurt too bad, but landing, all the other skills I did before, I wasn't trying to land it, and that was the first turn out of all my turns where I tried to land it. Ugh, nah, no, fucking, oh. It was like I got shot right in the ankle. It was like, like a bomb went off. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I don't know if I wanna try it, I don't, I don't know if I wanna try it again. It was, it was bad. Get a bitch. Uh, yeah, we're gonna give this shit one more try. Yeah, that last turn there was supposed to be like at least a half routine, you know, double double, front double twist, half half, and then split press and be done with the turn. But uh, I died on the first skill, so yeah, let's try again. Get her patter. That one didn't hurt because I over rotate, so we're gonna try again. Okay? I, I keep not landing it because uh, I'm just being a bitch. I'm just tucking the flip in right at the end because I don't want to under rotate her my ankles again. Subconsciously. Consciously, I'm mad at my subconscious, okay? It's pissing me off right now. So, yeah, let's try again. I'm just gonna switch the camera to the gimbal angle with my new thing. Maybe, maybe I'll land some stuff with uh, the different angle, knowing that there's a cameraman following me. Maybe I'll put some pressure on me landing. I don't fucking know. We're gonna, we're gonna switch the angle. Yes, sir. Kevin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Oh. <laughs> How was it? I don't know. Let's see. It, though. <laughs> I can't land anything today. <laughs> ah, ah. How stable is it? Follow me. Ah. It's so hard to <laughs> move. <laughs> so grizzly. Okay, guys. I got this video idea. I'm gonna get the pre workout. I'm gonna put some on my nose there. And I'm gonna pretend to do a scoop and look back at the camera. Let me go with you? Sure, let's go get it. Let's go get it. All right, Spitfire, nutrition. Woohoo! <laughs> I'll leave the clock. Oh my god! Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Can you see it really clearly? Pretty clear. It sure. kind of blends in with the skin. Do some more. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now you can see it clear. Oh, I actually smell. <laughs> Woo! Now you can see it clearly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see it. Is it my teeth? Put oh, ash and gem. Oh, that stuff wakes you right up. Okay, let's do flips and shit. I've got to run. <laughs> You're supposed to run with me. That's what four hundred dollar gimbals for. Oh my gosh. My bad. My bad. I land. I look up, and you're halfway across the floor. Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> Ten, number two. Ah. Ah. Uh. How'd you do? I think I did good. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> huh, 360. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what they say, four times the charm. Let's get it. That's what they say. That is what they say. That is what they say. This turn, sponsored by Fire Nutrition. Go dash, go dash 10. <laughs> Blah, blah. Oh, so close. Welcome to the hardest sport in the world. Uh, I'm the most painful. Okay, uh. one last one. One last try. One. Last, I promise this is the last one. I swear. Because you know what they say, right? Fifth times the charm. Fifth times the that charm. That is what they say. That is what they say. All right. I know what I need to stick this turn. When Beyonce comes on, the clothes come off. <laughs> Bless you. That is so okay. good. I'm ready. Fuck. One more. Come with me. Let's do one more. Quick, quick, quick. Bob Bob. Ah, it's not going down. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my whole like hell week thing, we're gonna have to delay that. I just realized this was a bad week to do it because uh, the gym closes at five today. So we're gonna just try and do as much more stuff as we can because I got one hour left. So maybe two more events if I move quick. So it's gotta move quick now. But yeah, we're in P-Bars now. I'm gonna use this angle since the gym's pretty much empty so no one's running around here. So then, yeah, we can get the side view. Okay, let's get started. We're not having done P bars in over a week. All right, executive decision here. Uh, Hell week's gonna either start next week or later this week, and then carry into next week. Cause uh, yeah, just realizing I haven't done P bars in over a week because I forgot about my whole one week break thing, and I forgot how uh, taking a week off the of training affects how your training is. 
I don't know how that kind of slipped my mind. I, I was thinking like I would be good to go, but yeah, no. So yeah, we're gonna just do some P bars here, and then maybe one more event, and then yeah, we're gonna keep going with the rings every morning training though. Okay, that that needs to be worked on. But yeah, P bars, maybe some half routines. We'll see. Well, we're in the Jeep. That's not a good sign, is it? So, let's discuss. Well, we're gonna do two moods here, okay? We're gonna start with my bitchy mood, and then we're gonna look at the positives after. Bitchy mood. All right. Was feeling dizzy and shit again from my whole incident thing. Now, to be fair, that I keep... Mm, I hate that I have to keep using this excuse of me having my little seizure thing or whatever last week on Monday. But it's supposed to fully, like, drain out your body and make you absolutely exhausted. So I'm still, like, slowly trying to come back, I guess. I thought after all my time off, I would be, like, kind of, you know, good to go. I've never had, like, a week off of gym before. So I pretty much had a whole week off last week. So I thought it would be good. But no, I guess not. So, yeah, uh, now we're going to set a new plan for this week. Instead of hell week, we're going to call it trying to get back to just an average training week, I guess. Fuck, if this keeps happening, oh, I'm gonna be, uh, I don't know what to say, I'm pissed. All right, happy Ashton. Let's look at the positives now. Now, last week on Thursday was my first day of me trying to get back to normal training to see how it goes. I did one training, all I did was landings and handstand conditioning. That's all I did for first training. Second training, I did high bar, did two turns on palm of the left. Now today, I did vault, rings, landings, handstand conditioning, my ab workout stuff. I did all that in the morning, which is good. And in second training, we did floor, which is a much more demanding event, I would say. And we did a little bit of P bars, but I was starting to feel fucking wonky and dizzy. See? The annoying part is like, I don't feel tired. I feel dizzy. Everything kind of feels like weird and off like it is right now. It just feels kind of weird. And that's how I was feeling. So and when you feel like that, it's way too dangerous to try and do this sport. When you're feeling a little dizzy, you kind of got to just stop. You can't just push. It's not something you push through. Pain, I can push through. It just hurts. Tired, I can push through. I'm just, I feel like I have less energy. I don't know, I'm not dizzy or anything, but when I feel dizzy like this and kind of like off, not myself, feels weird, you gotta just stop, I guess. Which isn't the most fun. Let's put that. It look, looks dark, eh? I'm just realizing that. Oh, that's good. I should have done that 10 minutes ago. All right, as I was saying, I almost want to re say everything just because I put my like visor thing down. Now you can fucking see me like a normal person. Hopefully, you can see me. I can't. It's hard to tell off the screen, but hopefully, you guys could see me. But yeah. Look at the positives. I did more in training throughout this whole day than I did on Thursday. And on Thursday, I only woke up at like 8 or whatever, and then I went to the gym. Today, I woke up at 3, did all my 3 a.m. stuff. So I, I did a lot today, like... But uh, it just makes me mad because the whole car I talk on the way to training, I was talking up this big game, how this week was just going to be super intense. I was going to do all six events every day and be this big... Blah, blah, blah. Big bitch I am now, hey? Fuck. So, new goal, new goal to set, which is okay, right? At least I'm not injured or anything, so there's a huge positive to look at. I'm just a little fucked in the brain right now from that, not actually, I guess. I just, uh, dehydration. I'm thinking, I'm gonna say this and then we're gonna end the video, okay? I gotta stop rambling. So I used to take creatine and then uh, three days before the, right when we left for the competition, I just stopped taking it. Not intentionally, I just kind of forgot to take it while I was at the competition. So then I was off creatine for a few days. So then all that water, that creatine, because creatine retains a bunch of water in your muscles. And it's pretty much like storing a shit ton of extra water. So then I stopped taking it. All that water just left. Plus I did my competitions and all that stuff. And it was a big weekend. So I would have been just hella dehydrated, I guess. Which all makes sense now. Because I kind of was doing a little bit of research on it. And it seems like uh, within a couple days of stopping creatine, a lot of the water, like five pounds worth of water, kind of just leaves your body. So I started taking a bunch of it again. Well, scoop in the morning, scoop at night. For the last four days, within the next couple days, I think I should 
be somewhat back to normal, hopefully from that. But yeah, enough uh, enough excuses. Let's just end this video off. Ah, uh, my apologies to everyone for me being a bitch. Just pisses pisses me off just as much as it pisses you guys off. You know. Still did uh, four events kind of today. Floor was not too bad. Wasn't the greatest. Hurt my ankles, or my ankles still hurt. I didn't hurt them. Whatever. Okay. Tomorrow's a new day. The goal this week is to do a little bit more than we did yesterday and carry that momentum on all the way up till Friday. And uh, yeah, all right. If you watched the full video, enjoyed. Glad to hear that. If you watched the full video, let's comment the word. At, um, cruise. C R U I S E. Cruise. All right. Thanks for watching. I love you.